Hi there, Tim Lynch, O'Shea Builders, Carpenter Superintendent uh, for this job. I'm Evan Dorks, uh, Project Manager with O'Shea Builders. This is a wonderful project to be a part of. Super excited about it and proud that Mike has chosen me to come down here and help the sisters out. This will always be a job we'll, we'll talk about 10, 15 years from now when we're still doing work around here and it's, it's really been a good relationship builder from the start. These guys have put their heart and soul into this, the whole facility. This monastery will be here for another hundred years. Without that dedication from, fr from this crew, this would have been a, a long journey for myself. Um, huge shout out to those guys. My name's Brian Dank. I'm a pipe fitter, plumber foreman for E.L. Pruitt. Been working for them for approximately 22, 23 years. Um, I've been on this job since the beginning, out in the dirt, and it's been a pleasure doing this project, and I hope you enjoy it for many years to come. My name is Nolan Clark, Josh Stewart, it's Adam Scott. I am a fifth year apprentice out of IBW. I'm a second year apprentice. I'm the electrical foreman for this project. I work for Synergy Electric. Synergy Electric. Synergy Electric. I've been out here since May, uh, working with the Brickies and doing underground. Um, I will be out here for the duration until it gets finished and finalized. I hope you sisters enjoy every minute of being out here. It's been a pleasure to be out here with you, getting this project done. Thanks for having us. My name's Grant Hoffman. I was a brick foreman on the job. I'm John Morsey, Bricklayers Local 8. Work for Pulliam Masonry, and I'm from Taylorville. Justin Lucas. I'm from Dawson, Illinois. Uh, local 477 Laborers Union. Uh, work for Pulliam Masonry. This is a job to remember, one of the better ones. Kind of detailed. So uh, I just wanted to tell Sister Anne Marie, thanks for help, helping me lay block over there. And it's fun. Hi, I'm John Kuhar. And I'm Bill Kuhar, and we just got finished moving a bunch of statues and sculptures and other items from Northeast Philadelphia with Riley and Sons Moving here to Girard, Illinois. Uh, we're happy that everything made it here safely and that we're able to help out Sister Anna Marie. Hi there, I'm Norman Campbell, Mrs. Norman Campbell Jr., my son. We both work out of local 338 Wood River, Illinois, and we are proud to be working for the monastery. Hi, my name is Eduardo Espinosa, and I'm a carpenter. I work for Allied. Justin Horsham, Pekin, Illinois, Allied Construction, Carpenter. I've been doing this for over 40 years. There is always something new in every project to, uh, to learn. My name's Vince Evans. I'm a drywall finisher. I work for Allied Construction. I'm 59 years old. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nick Evans. I'm 32 years old. I work for Allied Construction. I'm out of the Peoria Local 157. I'm a drywall finisher, and this is my father. Hi, sisters. I'm Zip Dudra from Payne, Illinois. It's an honor to be here working for you. I work in the union now for 28 years. I'm a local 288 out of Decatur, and it's an honor to be here. Thank you. Hello, my name is Vincent Van Rie. I'm originally from the Netherlands. I moved here seven years ago. I've been in the union for six years, and I've been working with Middle Illinois companies for the last four years. So I'm working together with Zip. He brought me in for this job because it needs to be a really good quality here because we're working on the monastery. Hi, my name is Hannah Hill. I work for Middle Illinois companies. I'm a third year apprentice, and I'm doing the painting on this job. It's been an honor to paint here for you sisters at the monastery. Hello, I'm Jeremy Stinnett, and I work for Middle Illinois. I'm a painter and we're working on walls and baseboard today and I'm happy to be here. My name is Terry Mitchke. I'm 49 years old. I've been working out of Labor's 338 in Wood River. I'm very excited to have been part of this project. I'm Chuck Bergner. I'm the owner of Bergner Plastering. We've been in business for about 20 years. We are the ones performing the stucco work on the outside of the project. It's been a real pleasure working on this job. It has been a very muddy job, but a real pleasure and hopefully you all enjoy living here. Thank you. My name is Rick McGuire with McGuire Wastewater Solutions out of Verdon, Illinois. Uh, we're here designing and installing the private sewage system for the monastery. 
Uh, we worked alongside O'Shea and, and Tim, which has been an incredible experience for us. First time we've worked with them. Um, we're completing today, which is February the 10th, and good luck with your monastery. My name is Anthony Sims, carpenter at Local 270, working for O'Shea Builders. Today I'm working on the chapel, putting on the Tonga groove on the ceiling. My name is Justin Jorgensen, and I work for McGuire Wastewater. I helped set up the septic system for the monastery. I'm Scott Connolly, I work for McGuire Wastewater. We're out here working on the septic system, and you have a very nice monastery out here. Hi there, my name is uh, Adolfo Espindola. I work for Allied Construction. I'm a first year apprentice out of Bloomington, Illinois. I've been on this project for about two, two days, three days now. I haven't been here very long, but uh, I do drywall and framing. So uh, any of these walls you see, I probably work on some of them. Um, that's just a little bit about me and really happy that I was chosen to work at this job. I'm Mike Kuhar. I work for Streb Fire Protection. We did the fire protection on this building. I'm also their neighbor. I live a mile down the road. Hello, my name is Tim Bohannon. I am a carpenter through Carpenters Local 237, more specifically Ally Construction, and we are here doing the acoustical ceilings and hanging drywall and framing in the chapel. My name is Joseph Fulton. I'm working for Ally Construction, hanging drywall. I'm out of Local 270. I live in Miami, Illinois. My name is Brad Walsh. I work for Synergy Electric based out of Williamsville, Illinois. I work as a project manager for Synergy Electric. This project was very fun to be a part of with O'Shea to build this nice facility for Monastery Mary the Queen and the sisters. My name is Sam Sinclair. I work for E.O. Pruitt Company. Um, my, my job is the plumbing and piping superintendent, which is basically I put all the manpower in the right spots to do the right thing. We've had five to six guys down here. This job has flowed really well. and Hopefully the sisters enjoy their new Monastery and this environment down here is really nice. I'm Rob Myers. I was the plumbing project manager for E.L. Pruitt Company on this project. I was part of this project from the very beginning, back in the design phases. Um, I grew up in this area, so it's been quite an honor to be part of this. It's kind of the biggest thing we've had go on down in this area for quite a while. So it's quite an honor, and I just want to wish the sisters the best of luck in the future. My name is Robbie Coleman. My name is Miguel Sandoval. I work with Flooring Systems. I'm from St. Louis. I work for Flooring Systems here doing the tile at the chapel. Hi, my name's Les Hayes. I'm the owner of Hayes Excavating and also H&H &H Transit. I live about three miles from this facility and have spent a lot of time here in the past few months. My trucking company, H&H &H Transit, was responsible for bringing in all of the aggregate, all of the stone, the, the rock that was used throughout this facility. My name is Brian Lang. I work for Hayes Excavating. I live in Carlinville. Uh, I've been a part of this project pretty much since the beginning. Uh, as Les said, uh, hauling dirt and rock. It's been a good project for us the last few months and happy to be on board with seeing it built. It's been a pleasure to work up here and I've met a lot of nice people and it's, it's been a good experience for me. Hello, my name is Chad Smith. I'm from Butler, Illinois. I'm a carpenter of 25 years out of Springfield Local 270. Out of my uh, years of construction, this is definitely the pinnacle of my career, this project. I've been on it since the first wall and I don't plan on leaving until it's done. My name is Dustin Libra. I work for O'Shea Builders as a journeyman carpenter. Been hanging trim in the chapel. It's been a lot of fun and I'm glad to be here. My name's Tony Capronica. I've been uh, self-employed for 33 years in the stone and tile trades. I have to tell you, this is one project that's uh, been a pleasure to be a part of. In all this time, I've never had a chance to work on anything on this order and this size. As far as bringing pieces like this that are turn of the century and bringing them up to par so we could utilize them again for the next hundred years. There's something that's already a hundred years old and it's been a nice challenge to work with Marvel this time, in this location. It's a good feeling. When you end up uh, 
something that you've taken for all these years for granted and putting it to good use for something on this order. The bells would have been the first big milestone for us. These bells that were used in Camden and they were put in storage for years, brought here and set in place on a bell tower that's 40, 50 feet tall. You're dealing with something that's 120 years old and, um, and to hear him ring, um, it, it, was, it was a rainy day, cold, rainy, um, but just to see the look on sister's face when she had her bells back at her monastery, uh, that was priceless. One of the first foundation pours that we did, which is where the tabernacle goes now, um, myself, Sister Stevens and Sister Anna Marie all placed our hands in the wet footing and uh, we wrote our names there. So um, they'll be there forever. Nobody will ever see them. They're underneath the block now, but, uh, um, but her handprint started there. The placement of the cross on the north end of the chapel, along with the cross over the bell tower, Another milestone would have been the round window or the stained glass window of Mary. I got to see some of the, the sisters in a scissor lift one day. I don't know if that should be on video or not. Give their final stamp of approval so we could put the, the rose window in. That was a big milestone. Bricklayers taking time to make a vault for their time capsule to everybody on the site signing the outside of the time capsule. Lots of different milestones. <clears throat> not knowing which one was going to top the other, um, but they all came at the right time. It goes without saying that it's been great working with, with the nuns on this job, but kind of what they've done for me personally, uh, just the way I view life is, is the biggest takeaway I've had from this job. I mean, I've had my wife specifically tell me, you know, you're, you're not the same person you started as when, when you took on this job. and or she'll say, I think they're rubbing off on you a little bit and may not be something I feel every day, but it's definitely, uh, you, you see this group of individuals that live their life spiritually and you begin to think that um, the, the things you thought were important in life aren't as important as you once thought they were, first off, and then also that it really just gives you a different view um, and that's by biggest takeaway from this construction project has nothing to do with construction whatsoever. And I just want to say thank you for that. They have such a sense of existence here that is not something I'll ever be able to work with again, just because this is where they will come to live until their time here is done on earth. And they, you, you kind of feel that as you're, you're going on these walks with them and it's just a, a very strong feeling. This building here changes faith, um, brings God closer to you um, after meeting the sisters and listening to them. Um, this is going to be, this will be a very difficult job for me to leave because of the friendship, because of the love from the sisters to not only me, but my family, my whole crew, um, all my coworkers, whether they're with O'Shea or any of the tradesmen, they showed genuine love for everybody here. Um, these ladies are just praying for everybody. Um, not one person in, you know, in particular, but just the whole world, you know, trying to bring peace and, and love and joy to everybody through their prayers.